welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video so this is a review of ios 26.0.1 after using it for more than three days so in this video i'm going to talk about how this update is going on i will be showing gigabyte score i will be showing battery stats so stay until the end of this video so without any further delay let's get dive into this video so let me get into the battery section first and let's see how the battery is performing so get into the battery, let the battery starts load. So I'm using this update from last three days. And this is the first day when I started using this update. And I used around 99% as you can see. And for the 99% I got 6 hour and 38 more screen on time. Now during this time I was active on Netflix, TikTok, Instagram and some other applications as you can see. The next day I used 60% of my device and this time I got 3 hour and 52 minute screen on time. Now during this time I was using a Netflix, Instagram, Black Magic Cam, YouTube and some other applications. Now today I again use around 61%. I got almost 5 hours of screen time. It is 4 hours and 50 minutes. And the apps that I used was TikTok, Netflix, YouTube, Instagram. So as you just saw the most apps that I use are social media apps. And social media apps actually consume a lot of battery life because there is you know, videos going on, audio is going on. And all of these apps I use while using the Bluetooth because I use turn on my earbuds and listen to all stuff. So even after that, I'm getting a decent screen on time, which is a really good sign. It's a good screen on time. It seems it is getting better. It seems iOS is not settling. It seems it is slightly better than definitely, but it's a decent improvement and I like the battery life. And if I get into the performance for the performance, definitely I will get into the Geekbench. I will go over here. First, we will talk about the CPU benchmark. I will over here. Now, this is the result that, that I, you know, tested out. 7073 on a single core, 4173 on a multi-core. Now, both scores are higher than the average one, as you can see. I ran the test again. At this time, I got even, even better results. 7092 on a single core, 4270 on a multi-core. Again, both scores are higher than the average one. An important thing. This score is one of the best score of any iOS 26 update on the iPhone 11, which is amazing, which means there is definitely a very big, big, big improvement in terms of performance. And if I get go back and get into the GPU benchmark over here, I got like previously got 13844 metal score, as you can see, which is higher than the average one, a decent score. I ran the score again after using my device for a while and this time I got even even better results. 14164 again which is way higher than the average one. So single core score, multi core score of CPU and also the score GPU meta score is also like higher than the average one. And they're one of the best which is a really good sign. It means this update is actually decent update. This means this update is settling up and it feels way way better now which is a really good sign. So if you are stuck on iOS 26.0, not happy with the battery life and all that, you can safely update to iOS 26.0.1. I am testing all this to you know update for a while and it is a decent update. It seems there is definitely a very, very improvement. And you know, I'm happy with that. Now, definitely I will be testing out in a long run. I'm making another video and see if there is any sort of other issues going on. I will let you guys know. But so far, if you ask me, should you update to iOS 46.0.1 from iOS 26? Definitely you can. Should you update from iOS 18? Um, I did a comparison video. Go and check out my comparison video. I did that yesterday, I guess. So go and check out my comparison video. There are a lot of, um, you know, things for you to learn. And yeah, that's all from this short and very simple video. I hope you like this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.